Six Street Crypto Podcast, featuring our, featuring our special guest, me, coming to you from Sixth Street in Austin, Texas. So here's a little statistic for you. My YouTube following is about 4,000 people. And as of tonight, I have 42 paying customers in my Patreon group. So naturally, I want to say that I appreciate your business. And of course, since you've been in my group, we got ApeCoin, Decentraland, you know, all kinds of different coins that are just popping off because like I've been saying, the market is repricing everything. Now, since you guys decided to be the top 1% and join my Patreon group when it was $15, you might ask yourself, who is going to be the guy who becomes like the Jordan Peterson of crypto? In other words, in this cycle, is it going to be about hype or is it going to be about thought leadership? Especially when it comes to like security tokens, big coins, etc. Now the other question you need to ask yourself is, who do you identify with? In other words, I'm an analyst and for better or for worse, I want to help people, right? In other words, my job is to help you navigate, right? You're the captain of your portfolio and I'm the sonar operator, right? I give you the navigation that you need. Now, of course, when you do your own charts, you are and can be your own navigator. Right now, we're in a stage where, like I said, the top 1% of the people in my Patreon, you know, the link is either down below or up here, depending on where you are. People, people don't understand what is going on right now in the crypto markets. Now, AI is next, right? And there are a couple of other sectors, like name a sector, name a sector in crypto. I'm gonna have charts on them in Patreon. You know, you got interoperability, you got DeFi, you got layer ones and then coins within those ecosystems. You know, just not to over talk this one point, but if you have something that's, you know, ripping fast like Phantom, how how many like destroyed coins am I going to find in that ecosystem when I go looking? Now, the answer to that could be none. Or the answer to that could be six or eight. Trust me, the people in my Patreon group are going to know. But if you start going through sectors, there's all this stuff that's dead. It's given up for dead. And what happens if everybody wakes up one day, particularly on the legacy side, right, where they're used to value investing? Like This is like the key point, right? What happens if, like, I don't know, the Larry Finks of the world or any of these other guys start investing in crypto hedge funds and money comes pouring into the system because guys with legacy mentality, okay, good thing I used to be in legacy, I escaped. But what happens if these guys come in and go, oh yeah, this is all too cheap. You know, interoperability, all the stuff that like nobody cares about. Like I always remember that consensus all the way down at the other end of the street. You know, Nier had a booth. Polkadot had a booth. No one cared. No one was no one was there. No no one was there. Nobody was interested. It was like, oh yeah. Another ETH killer wannabe. I got news for you folks. There is no such thing as an ETH killer. Because you're gonna need more than one highway to get into New York City if you live in that area. You know, there's the bridges, the tunnels. You're going to need more than one highway. And again, pick a coin. Pick a coin. It's too cheap. The Solana rally is telling you that. A lot of people are like, wow, Solana went up and Solana's the future. And Okay, right. But when Solana was repriced, you have to say, what happens if that permeates the entire market? And what happens if you're not in my Patreon and you miss it? Then you're going to be like, oh my God, wow, this is much higher in the middle of December and now I have to figure out how to get in. 
and that's going to be much harder. So it's not investment advice, it's help. It's actually me wanting to help you. It's not a shill, it's a call to action. So mathematically, I'm in good shape because 1% of my YouTube following has now become customers in my Patreon. But back in the day, you know, I'd have 7,000 people watching the market update and one of them got up to 10,000, right? So, you know, the, the nifty 50, as I'm calling them, you know, they're in now. But I, I'm not sure where the other 6,950 people are, but they better start coming my way. Because if you have a mispriced crypto market and you have very few people that understand what's happening, the information edge is with professional analysts, not necessarily with YouTubers, shock jocks, or even sometimes technical analysts. Because I'm advocating throwing out the charts. You've seen that. If you haven't, it's on my YouTube channel and in my Patreon. So the question is, where are you getting your guidance from? Think about it.